Hello and welcome back to Divine Journey to the Minecraft mod pack uh, that is uh, brand new and it's fun for everybody. So uh, just in between episodes here, I spent a little bit of time, I set up a little cotton farm down here by the riverbed. Uh, you know, I don't really expect that to pay huge dividends, but basically, you know, I'm just trying to get a bed out of it. Um, I used what bone meal I had to get uh, some, some more cotton just to, you know, min-max it a little bit, but I still need 15 more. 15 more, I believe, to uh, make a bed out of that. So uh, that, that'll be a while. But in the meantime, I also collected a bunch of clay and a bunch of sand. And which the sand is pretty annoying because you get like quartzite sand and green schist sand. I would rather it just be kind of one type of stuff. Gravel, it looks like, doesn't really have that problem. And we do have quartzite gravel too. Can be converted into vanilla gravel. Okay, well, that's fine. You know what? Let me just go ahead and <laughs> let me just go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, if they're gonna let you do that, just you know what? Whatever. I'm not too worried about it. I guess you could do that with the sand too. Let's do it at least with a stack. All right. So we've got that. So that means we can make grout, right? So uh, with the grout, and we we made all that. So with the grout, we can make we can get started on tinker stuff. So we're gonna need clay blocks. We're gonna need sand. Accept any sand, any sand, any gravel, clay block, clay block. I'm not sure what the difference between this recipe and this recipe is. I understand this one, but yeah, I'm not sure about the top one and the bottom one, but I mean, they're, they're the same. They're, they're the same. So I'm not going to be too worried about it. Uh, so we do need the clay. Let's just get a whole stack of the clay blocks and then get some of that and some of that. Well, we're not going to need a whole stack, are we? Because we just have... Uh, what we need here so 16 so that's a lot of grout and then the grout i believe it's only you know its main use put it together into a seared brick you know we can do that kiln we can melt it up but yeah it's just going to be used to make the sear brick so let's just get that going get some more of that in. and we got the copper ingot as well we got the grout we got the copper ingot and look we got some more grout ingredients there as well and then so yeah seared bricks we're going to get into tinker's construct which if you've never used Tinker's Construct, it's basically a better, I mean better subjective. It's a more complex way to kind of make tools and that kind of thing. Um, so that's going to be, you know, we're going to have a smeltery. We're going to have, uh, you know, some tool stations. We're going to get some cool tools. Hopefully they're going to, you know, be better than kind of the vanilla ones that we would otherwise have. Probably going to make them out of iron or copper. But we'll see how it goes. You know, I think every mod pack has, like, different kind of optimal tools that you can make. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure out what, what this one's deal is. Okay. So, yeah, just as soon as this finishes up. And you know what? I may... I don't really have the cobble to uh, make another furnace, do I? Yeah, they, they do need quite a bit each, but um, I... And I could just get some more cobble. And just because I'm so used to it and it feels weird not having it, I'm going to use middle click to sort inventories. And that's not doing what I wanted it to do. It's sorting this one instead of this one, man. Maybe maybe there's just another thing for that. Well, I'm going to turn it off because if I accidentally do that, it's going to be more annoying than if it does nothing. Um, okay, whatever. I have the button. Button's good enough for me. Um, yeah, so just make some more picks, some more stone picks. It's not like they're in short supply or anything. And especially considering we're going to have to be mining down a little bit more. Let's just do this kind of thing. Then we can get down and we can do it again. Okay, so maybe not the most efficient way uh, to get all the way down to the bottom here, but we're at least getting a lot of cobble out of it. And I believe this is going to be enough already to make ourselves another furnace. I don't think I have any other compressed cobble left over. I think I just made as exactly as much as I needed last time. Definitely do have more slabs, though. And if I could just get two more. Let's see, does this work? Yeah, and then obviously that's not going to work. I can't stack them together, but there we go. That works. Okay, so then should be able to get two more 
furnaces. I just need a little bit more iron, uh, which I'm going to need to smelt up here. So let's do that. Let's put a pause on the seared bricks for now. And then we can just get another furnace going and we can double the speed. So this is this is pretty much max efficiency gameplay here. Um, yeah. One more of those. Two more of those. This just makes one rod, right? Yeah. I think it'll be more efficient once we get like immersive set up. Yeah, it's two to one to one to one. Yeah. And I might as well just keep that going because we're going to want to smelt up the iron. Well, actually, why is that like frozen? So now we should be able to make. Oh no, because I need the coal. Right, and I had. Oh, it's just eight. Yes, okay. Fine. All right, furnace number two. And we can get some more tiny coal in. That's going to be just enough. Not the bricks, sorry. So it's not going to be just enough, but get some more. All right, so now... Now we're we're pretty much max efficiency right here. Uh, I think I just lost some efficiency by taking out taking out the iron ore before it was done. Kind of weird that they let you do that because I noticed in most mod packs, like if there's a machine that uses up an item, it'll take away the item as soon as you put it in, and then it'll you know do the progress, and then it puts out the output. Whereas for vanilla stuff, you can kind of take stuff out halfway through, and it's a little bit odd, but. Not so odd as to warrant a comment from someone like me. So let's see. So yeah, they get one each. So 15 more. It's going to take a little bit of time, but that's okay. It's going to be worth it in the end, I think. This is probably the best way. Well, let's see. I can probably make wool out of this. So okay. So with the cotton, it's three cotton to this. It's nine cotton to a wool. So it's actually way more efficient to make wool out of it than it is with string. Wait, can you just turn the string back into wool in a crafting table? There's no way. Because if you could, then that would be, I think you'd be able to get infinite something. Not sure what, string or wool, but maybe, no, I don't think that works actually, but <laughs> yeah, no, okay. But okay, let's just see, Ben. So yeah, we're gonna need Buffalo hide? Okay, this is worse than I thought it was. Okay, I think actually we need the... Um, where is it? Oh, it's not even here. There's something in Totemic, I think, that lets you sleep. But you know what? We'll work our way up to it. I'm not going to worry about sleeping so much right now. How about that? How about that? And then, see, the drawers, this thing about storage drawers, it's, it's a lot of storage, but it's for one particular item. And I don't really see a huge benefit in that when the items you're going to have a lot of, like cobblestone, there's like eight different types of it based on the biome. I, 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 don't, I don't really get that decision at all, but, um, you know, it'll probably be kind of useful still. But let's just worry about... I feel like silver is a lot rarer than lead, so I'll take that. Let's just worry about Tinker's Construct for now. Flint shovel head, cactus binding, and a bronze tool rod. Okay, that's what that's what they want me to make. Uh, so blank patterns. Ooh, that's an annoying <laughs> recipe. But we can still make some. Uh, if we had any of the other ingredients, probably we could do that. Still a little hard up for wood. I'll, I'm, I'm just going to turn all the logs into it for now. That should be fine. Let's make as many of these as we can, because we're going to need a lot. Four is fine. Well, how many did <laughs> I need eight for the quest? So four is not fine. Uh, yeah.
Oh, the progress like started to go away slowly when I took the coal out. Kind of works differently than I thought it would. Okay, so two more of those. I think we have enough sticks. Oh, we don't have enough wood though. <laughs> and I used all the bone meal. Man, this is a rough start, I think. And I, I mean, I get it's supposed to be, you know, primal, but I mean, it works. <laughs> it, I think it, it accomplishes what they intended to. I'll just replant. I hear a guy, so I'm running. Uh, I'm walking, rather. Yeah, a steady food source would be something that uh, would be pretty nice to have as well. But for right now, I should be able to make more of that. There we go. And we get an extra four. So that's always nice when it gives you like some more resources that they know you need because it's something that you just made. So yeah, we need a bunch of Tinker stuff. What's this? Oh, part chest and a pattern chest. Yeah, okay. So I'm actually going to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this living space a little bit less cramped. So I'll be right back in after I do that. Okay. As I was doing that, it occurred to me that I left a big dark pit in my house. Um, and okay, luckily it seems like nothing spawned in it. Uh, I did think I heard something, but it looks like we're safe. All right. I think that'll do it. You know, it's not the most uh, fancy or, you know, it's minimalist. It's, you know, it's fine. This is, this is what's trendy now. You know, and I'm not going to lie. I really want to fill in this big pit. Um, but... You know, I think the cobble is just too precious right now. Pretty much every resource um, is just kind of too precious. You know, the, the furnaces eat up the cobble. I'm probably going to want a couple more of those, um, you know, but it's fine. It, it's it's, it's going to be totally fine. Like, I'm not going to fall into the pit. And, you know, even if I did, it wouldn't be that bad. Like, it's going to be totally fine. Um, I also, I realized you could make the uh, the crafting station with uh, with tinkers, just with the crafting table and the grid in, in the crafting table. So... Or the crafting grid. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, anyway, but I guess now I'm going to need to make some of the Tinker's stuff. So let me just see. Can I? There's no way I can add to the bookmarks with that, right? No. But if I click in here, it doesn't even work with that, man. Okay, but that's that's okay. So part builder. It's So I'm going to want one on a log. I think one on a plank. One on a crafting table. And one on a chest. So what is this one? Oh, that's that's a bunch of stuff. Okay, so I'll do that with that. And then this is just one on a chest. Okay, so pretty much all the square wood stuff that I can think of, I'm going to need to uh, use that on. And it is daytime. I've been hearing an awful horrible sound, uh, which is apparently a depth ghoul, uh, who I would really very much like not to come near me. And it looks like he's not, <laughs> but I don't really like that too much more. Okay, no, he is. Okay, so I recognize him as being from Abyssal Craft, and indeed, that is the mod he's from. Abyssal Craft, I think it's it, it's it's mostly based on like you know Lovecraft stuff. Like I know you know there's like Shogoths in it and stuff like that. You know I don't too I don't know too much about Lovecraft, but what I do know um, is you know pretty much all this stuff. You know like just like world destroying stuff, and like when you look at it, you go mad type stuff. You know, generally just not the kind of stuff you want fucking with your uh, your uh, Minecraft base. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm not too optimistic about it actually being in the pack. Because it has gone poorly for me in the past. Uh, let's see, we got any more cotton? I would love to be able to sleep a little bit more. You know, it's slow going right now, but once once a bunch of them grow, it'll be a lot better go. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I didn't even notice. You fuck me. It's raining, too, so it's not going to die. 
All right, whatever. It's fine. We got enough wood for now. Uh, so let's see. What do we need? We need this part builder, and we need some of these for stencil table. Sure. I'll just put them all up against this wall, I suppose. Um, I'm going to need... Now, there's an order that you need to put these in, but I'll, I'll figure that out. Um, so let's see. I kind of am using these chests right now. So what else am I going to need? A chest. Okay, I need another crafting table. But the crafting table was kind of annoying to make. <sighs> okay, so... Right, so it's just this, which is just this. I do need two of those. I can just throw that over there. And then I assume there, you just can't... Well, actually, maybe you can make them the normal way. You can totally just make this stuff the normal way, too. This was just the way to do it. This was the way to do it pre-crafting table. Okay, so that's really, really good to know. Although, like I said earlier, you know, that that is a really nice way to, you know use up some inventory space in, you know, taking a lot of this stuff with you. It's probably an easier way to get a uh, crafting table, actually, come to think of it, but this works totally fine. And now we have our tool station. So I believe with just the tool station, uh, we can put together these three things that we uh, made, but not like that. No, sorry. Wait, what? Oh, no, we have to choose what to make over here. Yes. There we go. So we got a nice little flint shovel. So I'm sure that'll be useful for digging and whatnot. Just throw that in there for now. Should probably keep it on me. Not too concerned about it. Okay, I do feel the inventory getting kind of cluttered again, though. And then all of these are going to have, like, access to each other through here. And then the tool station, the, no, the part builder is the one that needs the pattern chest. And then the tool station needs the part chest. That makes sense, right? I will need another chest. Need some more planks, some more logs. I don't have those on me right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. This is kind of the main gist of the uh, the tinkers anyway. So maple or tiger wood? Probably the same thing. I, mean, I prefer maple, I think. Cactus or pumpkin? I did see some pumpkins around. I think I got some pumpkin seeds. Cactus I'm going to have to go out of my way for. So I'll grab those. And sugar canes or melon? I feel like melon is way rarer. So that's a no-brainer there. Okay, and then all my, my seared bricks should be smelted up by now. Probably not all of them. I think I have some more grout left over. Yeah, okay, so I'll finish that up. But what I do have, I can probably begin to make into this stuff. So glass. Let's get some sand smelted up. And, but it's not mostly, it's not just glass. So I know I need a lot of these. I know I need a lot of those. Um, that used to be the recipe for the controller, I think, right? Seared, seared controller, seared controller, smeltery controller. Block of redstone in it, really? All right. Um, yeah, well, I'm gonna need to go, go mining. Probably gonna be like down here, but. Do that a little bit later for now. Let's just go. I get item conduits for that. Very nice. And I got a lava bucket for this. Hopefully they don't have the mod in here that uh, makes it so you can't hold a bucket of lava without dying. Wait, was that not the recipe for that? Oh, it has the, the blocks in the middle. That's going to be a lot more... your tank. Okay, so if I start burning now, it's really bad. Nah, we're good. We're good. We're good. 
Okay, and then we just gotta get this stuff up and up and running. Iron plate? How do you even? You probably just hammer it together. Man, okay. And do you need an iron hammer for that? That's gonna be six iron. All right. So they do. It's uh, you know, it's it's not a lot, but it's a little. You know, it's it's not a lot, but it's a little bit of a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, going mining, I think, is just going to be the answer, and that's fine. Let me just, you know what? I'm just going to do that. I'm going to gear up to do it, and then I'll, uh, I'll come back when I'm down there, because that's going to be a little tedious getting down there when I find some stuff. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just mined into this little cave where I found myself earlier. I believe on the first episode, so there's a little bit of, you know, exploration done here a little already. Pick that up. Um, yes, yeah, so there should be like some torches around. I think it's the same cave. Where was this light coming from? Actually, where <laughs> where is this light coming from? This can't just be this torch. Oh, I suppose it can. Maybe this isn't the cave I was in earlier. Well, before I go too far, let's, let's like mark this a little bit. Vein line that out. Let me, let me get my bearings here a little bit. Because it seems the same, because there was like... Okay, I've just broken my iron pick. It's okay, I'm not, I'm not even going to touch the dark ore right now. I don't need to be messing with something called dark ore. And vein mining does take hunger, as usual, uh, which is annoying, but is what it is. I don't like the sounds that I'm hearing. Okay, so this is where I've just mined down from. Let's just keep going down. I'm not going to worry about the cave or anything. I didn't see too much in there. And my goal is to get down lower anyway. So I will resume momentarily. Okay. I've entered another cave system. I'm hearing heinous sounds. That was a really, really big vein as well. Something is about to come around this corner. Oh no. Okay, okay, well, you're fine and you're almost dead. Okay, so I think you have been what I've been hearing, uh, which is fine. That's a normal ass Minecraft zombie if I've ever heard it. So I can go down a little further here. I know I'm not going to find my way out of here, but I'm totally okay with that. If it's going to get me to the bottom a lot faster, and it looks like it will. Um, I brought some gravel with me. Plus, I, I picked some up. Probably don't even need it. I could probably just kind of reach it from here. Yeah, whatever. Okay. That's fine. And I don't have too, too many torches. Um, underground ice is interesting. I mean, I guess that's maybe realistic. I don't know. I guess water under pressure. Maybe. I wasn't aware of any underground ice, but I guess it's Minecraft. It doesn't have to be realistic. Let's pick up some of that. Uh, I'm starving. Not really, but hungry. Yellowite from Extreme Reactors. I like Extreme Reactors. I did not realize it was in the pack. I do like the mod, though. Yeah, Permafrost. We're not even in, like, a Thunder Biome or anything like that. I don't think I have any wood on me. Oh, but you you know what? I, <laughs> I talked shit about it earlier, but I'm finding myself grateful for the stone torches. 
I think I see the glow of some lava. Or maybe some... What in the Christ was that, man? Oh, I'm worried. I'm worried now. That sounds so evil. <laughs> um, I did break... What the fuck? I have no clue what that could even possibly be. Oh my god. Cave crawler. No, that's not you making that sound. Oh god, maybe it is. <laughs> it's from it's from Divine RPG. Okay, well it looks like you're pretty slow in water, but you do have a long reach. And you're loud as hell. Sorry to say. Come on. Okay, come on. Wanna be Seth Bling. Alright. Okay, so I guess the only other thing that I would be looking for down here is diamonds. I don't see any. I'll pick up some more redstone while I'm here. Maybe. That is tremendously slow. Okay, now it's a little better. And I wonder if this is redstone or something else. Destabilized redstone, okay. Uh, also maybe useful, but not incredibly so. Might as well get... Well, that's regular redstone, actually. Where are we at? This is like the Y level for diamonds, I believe, so... Could just look for a while around here. I am gonna have an extremely hard time getting out. Uh, looks like this is from underground biomes as well. I thought it was from mystical agriculture, but I guess not. Corallium plagued flesh. Yeah, I think that's probably gonna be bad news. There's another one of you. Why do they have to be so loud, man? It's such a disgusting sound. It's truly awful. Oh, I shouldn't have aimed mine that. I was standing on it. That's okay. Okay, my inventory is filling up a little bit, so I'm loath to mine uh, much more, but let's just do it. Okay, I did find diamonds, but um, the crazy thing is that I literally just used my last bit of the iron pick, and I can't make another one. So I guess the solution would be to go all the way back up and then come all the way back down Definitely need iron to mine that. Can't do it with anything else. So it's a little bit unfortunate, but I don't see a way around that. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to set a waypoint right here. You And we'll call that diamond. And we'll make it the color of, of diamonds, more or less. And then we can remove that one. And then if in the future I manage to lose my way, uh, if I even manage to get back up, uh, which is a little tenuous in the first place, uh, I'll be able to find those again. But in the meantime, I am going to have to get back home. I don't feel good about my chances. I don't even remember how I got down here, let alone how I'm going to get out. Maybe, maybe I'll just leave this in. It'll be funny if I get lost, right? It won't be like boring or tedious or anything like that. I guess I can keep mining some stuff on the way. If I see anything worth mining. Yeah, so it seems like the vein mining, too. It just does it until it can't anymore, whether that's from, like, hunger or your tool durability, which is cool. Maybe would prefer it if it was something more like, you know, just do it in a, in a, in a fairly large, you know, cube, something like that. But, hey, it's fine. I'll get used to it either way. Okay, so I've just gone in a circle, and I, I, don't, I haven't been placing torches, like, the entire time. I did, like, place some gravel to come back. No, I definitely came that way. There's the gravel staircase I made. Looks an awful lot like another set of gravel. I think I'm pretty much out right now. 
I think I'm fine. Wait. Okay, well, I was at least here before. Okay. Yes, and this is the staircase. Oh, my God. I can't believe I made it. All right, well, uh, let me just, I guess I'll just close this up. I'll go get the door. Because I don't know, when they changed it to make three doors at a time, I think that's weird because you never want three doors, but I'll just use that one. So, all right. That's as good a place as any to wrap it up. I'll go see how the cotton plants are doing. I had a few. I also planted some wheat down there as well um, during one of the uh, one of the breaks. So it shouldn't be too much more uh, time before I have a bed and I can sleep, which will be very nice. Uh, or no, that's not even... Okay, so I don't know why I'm bothering to keep growing the cotton, but it'll be useful for something. You know, string or wool, I'll need it for something. But anyway, so yeah, off camera, I guess I'll uh, go back down and get some of those diamonds. And then we can keep going and set up our tinker stuff until then if you've made it this far thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next one bye